welcome, welcome to the program, El Poder de Su Palabra, The Power of His Word. My name is Irma Alcantara. I want to welcome you to this program. This is part two of the unforeseen and the unpredictable with the prophetess Erlene McCutcheons. Oh my goodness, you got to see part one, but this is part two. Uh, but I also wanted to share with you that on the screen, you're going to have information there. If you want to call in and you need someone to pray with you, if you want to sow a seed, if you want to send an offering, if you believe in your heart that this is good territory, I'm telling you it is, it's good ground, please send a seed, please send an offering so that others may hear the word of God. If you, If this is your first time seeing and hearing this, I want to let you know you are going to hear something powerful that will change your mind. You know, words are coming at us through every venue, social media, every, you drive on the freeway, words are coming at us. We need to guard our heart, our ears, our eyes, or those things that are before us and fill ourselves with the true word of, and the powerful word of God because that's the only thing that's gonna get you through. It isn't the word of man, the word of the president, the word of anyone. It's the word of God, his power present today. So, Erlene, yes, how yes. are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. I really am. I'm so glad to be here because I'm really concerned about the body of Christ. Mm. We're in crises, but yet we don't think that we are, but we are because we're not being led by the Spirit of God. Mm. We have to be led by the Spirit of God. We have to get into a place, a position of intimacy, like I referred to before, that we will know the mind of God. Yes. It is time that we know the mind of God, not the mind of a man. I don't want a man giving me their mm. opinion. I want to hear what God has to say because only God's word is going to remain. Only God's word is going to give us the strength and the hope yes. that we need to yes. keep going. And do we need it? Do we need it? I mean, everywhere you look, you know, I, I was telling you, I do my job on a computer and, and my phone will pop up news, latest news, calamity to the right, to the left, to the front, to the back, everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it's only the word of God mm -hmm. and your revelation of that word mm -hmm. for you that mm -hmm. is going to get you through. But I want her to just let it rip, let it go. <laughs> just go for it. You know, we, 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 there's a big controversy out about apostles and prophets and um, I believe because of the the stigma that we have placed and we've had people do crazy things in that office of the apostle and in that office of the prophet until now people are skeptical about those offices mm. but I believe in this dispensation God is getting ready to erect that office because that office is going to be an office that is governed by God not governed by the authority of man but governed by God and in that God is going to talk to us but I want us to also have relationship with God you can't depend on the apostle you can't depend on the, the prophet you've got to depend solely on your relationship with God because I said on Sunday if uh, uh, someone dear to me passed away and I told them Sunday that that coffin was in the front but I didn't see no members jumping in I didn't see no members talking about they gonna go in there with their bishop no they didn't no they didn't you're left here to do the work yes you're left here to conform to the righteousness of God and it's time for us to stop being infants and it's mm. time for us to become mature we're so we're 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 still sucking on pacifiers. We've been saved for twenty and thirty years, and we're still infants. Come on now, we hating each other. We mad at each other. We can't come and fellowship together. One thing about the churches of old, they didn't have no Hebrew, they didn't have no Greek, but they showed they lived by the principles of the Word of God, and they had fellowship one of another. Yes. But we don't have that anymore mm -hmm. because you think you're bigger than me and I think I'm bigger than you. And so therefore, we don't fellowship anymore. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I, I, 
I thought that we served the same God. I thought we served the same God. Because we all are dealing with the unforeseen and the unpredictable. I don't care if you're rich. I don't care mm. if you're poor. I don't care if you're on the street. You're still dealing with the unpredictable. A lot of people that are on the street today, they would have never foreseen mm. or never predicted that they would be on the street. Some of those people have have made six uh, figure, have had six figure jobs. Mm -hmm. But look at where they are. Mm -hmm. So we're, this word, the unforeseen and the unpredictable. Mm. It's a baby that I'm going to birth mm. because it is true. It is this time and this season of the unforeseen and the unpredictable. Because you don't never know when the when the tidal wave going to hit. Right. We don't know. We don't know, saints of the Most High God. And anybody out there that's not a saint, God is no respect of persons. This, this message is not just for the church world. This message is for anybody and everybody that want to hear and listen to what God is saying. You are in the unforeseen and the unpredictable. Years and years ago when we had the first fallout in America, people have, have lost their jobs. People that thought that their jobs were secure forever. And they woke up one morning and the business faulted. They woke up one morning and they 401, 401ks were gone. Because why? They woke up one morning to the unforeseen and the unpredictable. Yes. And that's what we're dealing with. One of the things that God really dealt with me is prophecy. What is prophecy? Prophecy is unfolding the future. What does it mean to unfold the future? It means to reveal or disclose or unwrap. Open so that it can be viewed. Come on, Holy Ghost. God is prophetically speaking to us in the unforeseen and the unpredictable. He's saying that I'm unwrapping. It's like a gift at Christmas. Mm. We rush to the tree to get our gifts. And we, un we, we just tear the wrapping all off. We don't care where we toss it. But one thing is for sure. God is saying, you better care about what's in the package. Mm -hmm. You better care about what you're unwrapping. So you've got to get close to God so that when that package delivers at your doorstep, you will be aware of what's in that package. Oh, glory. And that you will be able to stand firm, steadfast, unmovable, unshakable. It is time for us to become unshakable unmovable against that hour of the unforeseen and the unpredictable. The word future means mahar in the Hebrew. It means tomorrow. Tomorrow. What is your tomorrow looking like? Mm. I don't know. Do you know what your mar tomorrow holds? I think I do, but not really. Mm. The word says it. we don't. We think we want to be in control of mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. world. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got it planned out, sort of. Mm -hmm. But the word says? Mm -hmm. The word says in James 4, chapter 13, verse 13 and 15 says, Come now. Come on, let's gather. Let's gather together. Who say today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. So in other words, you get up one morning and you decide, let me tell you something that I sense in the spirit of God. With this paradigm shift that is going on in the body of Christ, you can go to church and you don't know if the pastor done left. Mm. You can go to church now and you don't know if the pastor done passed away. Because why? We're living in that hour that you can't predict what tomorrow going to hold. No. And I've never seen this before. I've read the Bible, but I've never seen this in James chapter 4 and verses 13 and 15. And it says, for you are mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. So, you know what I tell people? And some people might 
stand up against me and say, oh, no, 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 no. What's happening in the body of Christ, we don't talk about death. We don't talk about it. We talk about being absent from the body to be present with the Lord, but we really don't believe it. Because when God comes and he says, I'm just a mist, mm. I'm just a vapor of smoke. I've come to the conclusion, I'm 64 years old. I've come to the conclusion, I'm not going to be here forever. No. But you know what God told me? He said, I want you to gather my sheep and I want you to mentor them. I want you to disciple them. I want you to get them in a place that they know intimacy. That they have a love for me. That they have a desire for me. That they thirst for me. That they hunger for me. Mm -hmm. So that when you leave this earth, they can carry on. But what we're doing today, we're not mentoring people. We're sitting up here gobbling all of, we're getting fat. And we're not nurturing the young, mm -hmm. the young men and women of the, of the gospel. We need to train them. Oh, yes. We need to teach them. Yeah. But do it under the umbrella, under the unction, under the power, under the leading, and under the authority of Almighty God. Don't, don't give it up under what you think or what mm. you perceive. No. Teach them what the Spirit of the Holy Ghost is saying. Yes. Because they'll stand. And they won't falter. Yes. They won't fall. They won't buckle. Show them what strength is. Some people say, don't be transparent. I try to be transparent because you know what? If my feet ache, it aches. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, my feet aching, and I need you to pray. But you know what's going on in the body of Christ? We want to be closed in. We want to shut, shut it all out and say, you know what? I I'm just going to talk to God. There's some things that you need to confess. There's some things that you need to find you a, 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 a devout prayer warrior and say, you know what? I'm going through something in my body and I need you to pray for me. Yes, absolutely. But Sister Irma, we ain't doing it. Because oh. we want to keep secrets. <gasps> it ain't time to keep no secret. No. It's time to find somebody, not only God, but somebody that really seriously have a relationship with God and can pray you through. Yes. And that's what we need. And then it says, what is your life? For you are mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought or should say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. Whew. Come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> the old people used to say it. Yes. They used to say, um, Mama, you going to come to dinner? We say, yeah, we coming. Right. But they used to say, if the, the Lord, Lord wills. wills yes. If the Lord's will. Yes. But I couldn't get that. I didn't understand that. But I understand it now because there's really saying you're in the unforeseen and the unpredictable early. You don't know what you're going to face tomorrow. You don't know what you're going to face in one minute, one second. So you need to say, if the Lord's will. Yes. Wow. If the Lord's will, I'll do such and such. If the Lord's will. Yes. Because you know what I found out? He's the author and the finisher of my faith. He's the one that determines my fate. He's the one that judges me. Man can't judge me. He said, you are to fear the one that can destroy both body and soul and cast it into hell. Mm. I don't need to fear you because you can't do nothing to me. No. But I sure can fear God. Yes. I have to fear God. So you know what? I say, God, whatever you will for my life, whether it be in the unforeseen or unpredictable, I'm willing to go. I'm willing to deal with it. Even if I have to cry. And I've cried a many tears. Mm -hmm. But if I have to cry, it's okay. Because you know why? I won't be crying by myself. Come on, Holy Ghost. You will not be crying by yourself. He'll be crying there with you. Yes. Come on, Irma. He's a comforter. <laughs> He's an awesome. He's an awesome God. Yes, he is. He's awesome. He's awesome. And then I'm going to end with this one. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. It says, many are the plans in the mind of a man. Oh, my God. Many are the plans in the mind of a man. I'm a man. I'm human. I'm a woman, but I'm still a man. Right. In the eyes of God, he created me. He formed me. He knew me in my mother's womb. He's saying here, Earlene, 
You have many plans. Yes. Think about it. In a million years, and I've been in Christ for about maybe 38 years. Okay. I would have never known or thought about that I would be here sitting down with Irma, going all over the world, right. talking on the TV show. <laughs> here but we're here but we're here but I'm here <laughs> but I never people would minister to me and say things to me and I was like okay all right you know how you get them little things people give you and you go you smile and you say okay thank you but reality came yes I said we come on Ooh. Holy Ghost <laughs> what are you saying prophetess Ooh. I'm saying you're living in a world of reality. Reality is going to come and knock on our doors one day. And what are you going to do with the reality when it comes and knocks on your door? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? Are you going to move forward? Mm. Are you going to say, God, not my plans, but your plan? Yes. Because only his plan will last. Yes. Only his plan. And then I hear the Lord said, body of Christ, body of believers, you need to frustrate the enemy. Stop mm. letting the enemy frustrate you. Yes. When the unforeseen and unpredictable comes, you need to mount up with the wings of an eagle. And you need to tell that demon uh, of frustration, I will yes. not be frustrated. Yes. The word frustrated means impeded, a blocked. Mm. You will not stop me from where God is taking me. You will not stop me. You will not cripple me. You will not cause me to abort what God has called you to do. But you will advance forward and you will go forward and you will do what God has called you to do. Even in the midst of your unforeseen and unpredictable. You will go forward. You will not stop. You will not quit. But you will keep marching. You got to keep marching. God showed me that an infant can't leap over no wall. An infant cannot go through troops. But maturity can. Maturity can. Maturity in God says, I can, I can leap over that wall. I can take that wall. I can take them. I can take the demons of hell. Come on, yes. Holy Ghost. Yes. I can take them. It ain't going to take me, but I'm going to take it. That's right. And we need to take our territories. Yes. We're not taking territory. It's time to take territory. Mm -hmm. Where's your territory? Where do you live? Stop talking about it and take it. Yes. Take it by force. That's right. Are you ready to fight? Mm. Are you ready to quit? Just because you're walking in an unforeseen and an unpredictable? No, we got to fight. We got to keep going. We're not called to quit. We're no quitters. No. We don't quit. Nope. We keep going. That's right. I don't quit. I don't quit either. I don't quit. I don't quit. I don't quit. And nobody quits. No. If you love God and you know where God is taking yes. you, you don't quit. No. no. And then I'm going to end with this. But it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Whew. It is his purpose that will stand. The word prophecy really means to predict or foretelling of what is to come. Something that is declared, which means something made clear or explicit or clear to make evident. Body of believers, it is time for you to step in what God has called you to do and begin to prophesy. Foretell your future. Amen. Foretell your tomorrow. You don't, have to, you don't have to take down and you don't have to back up. But take it. Yes. Take it. Take it by force. You got to take this. You got to take this mountain. And what really stuck with me, he said, prophecy means to predict. What are you predicting over your life? What are you predicting over your future? Yes, I'm not dismissing the unforeseen and the unpredictable. But when I come to the hour of my unforeseen and my unpredictable, I've got to prophesy over myself. Right. That's right. You got to prophesy over yourself. Mm-hmm. You got to encourage yourself. David That's encouraged right. himself. Oh, you better yes. encourage yourself. Oh, yes. Many times I've had to prophesy to my own self. Because <laughs> if I didn't prophesy to myself, I'll be still sitting in, laying in the bed with the covers over my head. Right. right. But you got to, you got to make, speak. speak. 
And you got to make it clear. Make it clear to the devil. No. I might be in this in this place right now, but I'm not going to stay here. I'm not going to live here. I'm not going to dwell here. And I make it plain. You better get thee behind me, Satan, and I'm moving forward. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> that is right. You know, and as women, we are not second class. We are not less than. We have the authority that he gives us in the word, mm -hmm. just like anyone else. Mm -hmm. He is no respecter of persons. Come on. So why are we caving in and, and, and you know, and, and falling? Why? When it's right here. It's right there. It's right there. That's the roadmap right there. That's it. That's the roadmap right Ooh. there. Everything we need is right there. Yes. Do you know this is your search for tomorrow? Yes. This is your secret storms. This is your God in life. You remember them old TV shows? <laughs> Dark shadows. <laughs> Edge of night. You remember them? Yeah. Uh-huh. All in this Bible. You got some edge of nights. You got right. some secret storms. Yes. You got some God in light. Mm. And you got some, some dark shadows. <laughs> all in this word. Yes. But through all of that God in light, yes. all of them secret storms, this word, this word, will get you and keep you and get you going. Yes. Come on, Holy Ghost. Amen, amen. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what can be said more? You know, it's the word. So I'm not going to say more. I'm going to let her pray us Thank out. you, Jesus. Father, mm. we give you all. Yes, bosa. Mm. We give you all of the glory. We give you all of the honor. Yes. We give you all of the praise. praise. Father, some people out there are dealing yes. with the unforeseen. Yes. And they're dealing with the unpredictable, Father. Father God. Yes. But God, I ask you, you to strengthen are. them. Yes. I ask you to encourage them. Yes. I ask you to lift them up. Yes, Father. Father, I ask you to take them. Yes. Take them yes. over the mountain. Yes. Take them over. Yes. Take them into the place of the position of overcoming, yes. Father. Yes, Father God. Lord, touch these families, God, that have yes. lost their children in this oh, unforeseen Father. and unpredictable. Yes. Give them the strength yes. to move on and to go on. It's hard right now, yes. Father. But, God, only you can oh, surround them. Yes. Only you can touch their hearts, God. And, God, those that don't know you, Father... Cause them to know you. Cause them to feel your embrace. Cause them to feel your love, Father, and your compassion. In the name of Jesus. Because, God, they need yes. you. Show them the hope of glory. Yes. Show them that they have an expected end. Yes. Show them that they have a divine future. Yes. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. Wow. All I could say to her prayer, the prayer for us is yes, yes, because that's God's word, yay and amen, yes. We have been called to be overcomers in our territory. What is your territory? Your house, your children, grandchildren, your backyard, your front yard, your neighbors, your city, your job. I go to my job, and sometimes I, I'm in there with the anointing oil, you know, with the cubies next door, with the atmosphere, because mm -hmm. I have been called to that place to be a light and God has opened opportunities to minister, to pray with my coworkers on, they just come to me and I'm going, Oh yeah. And I do not hold back. I pray. I speak the word of God. That's I speak it. about That's the it. God of Israel, That's the it. Jewish savior. D don't get me mixed up with the God, any other God. That's I make it. it very clear. That's it. It's That's the it. God of heaven. That's it. And Jesus Christ. That's By it. the Holy Spirit. I make sure they hear that because he's, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. That's it. And I give him the honor and the glory in yes. everything that we do. So yes. stand up. That's it. Stand up. Yes. Stand up wherever you have been called. Don't back down. God is for you. God is going to fight this battle, but you need to stand. You need to be that marker in that territory. That's it. That's it. Prophetess. It says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, but yes. the violent take it by, by force. force. 
And it's time for us to rise up and be, yes. become forceful in the spirit realm. Yes. We need to fight in the spirit realm. That's how we're going to defeat the enemy in the spirit realm. No matter what you're going through in your foreseen and unpredictable time, you've got to rise up and fight and say, I will overcome this through the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being here with me today. Love you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this program. El poder de su palabra, the power of his word. Thank you. Again, Prophetess Erlene McCutcheons, and she is the pastor at New Branch Ministries in the city of Norwalk, California, 12169 Front Street. Services are? On Wednesday at 7 o'clock and Sundays at 10 a.m. And it's, there is prophetic teaching and equipping and birthing and connecting the body of Christ to do what you you have been called to do. So come on, come on down and join us. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.